Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's lesson is another nice and quick one. We will look at how to resolve this missing external reference problem that many of you will see when you try to export a Revit file over here to Navisworks. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's see now how we can get rid of this problem. Let's see why it's happening in the first place. I will close this error message first. And come back to Revit now. Let's see what's happening here. We have this wall with a custom material, which is a bitmap just to give it a nice texture, as you can see here. When you go to settings, materials, that's the one there. And under appearance, you can see it's getting the texture from this file called tree.png which is in the same folder with this Revit file. When it's time to bring this design into Navisworks, this is what people usually do. We can go to Export, NWC. I'm going to save it here in the same folder, just like this. When everything is done, if I go to Navisworks now and append the same NWC we just created, and it's this one here. You can see now everything works nicely. If I go to here and turn on texture using the full render view mode, the material is there, just like we have in Revit. The problem comes around when this happens. Let me just make a new Navisworks files now, and then go to the folder where you have the Revit file and also the texture map. If for some reason this file is moved or renamed, the link to the material in Revit will be broken. Let's try it now if I rename this to 4.png. When I go to here and append the same NWC we just created before, this one, here we go. This is why this problem occurs, because the material name has changed. It's no longer 3.png, it is now 4.png, and that's why Navisworks just couldn't see it. There are two ways to fix this problem. The first way is to make sure the material name and location is not changed. If I now change it back to 3.png and append the file again, it's going to open just fine and it's going to display the right material bitmap. Anyway, this is not an easy fix to this problem because if time has gone by, maybe it's impossible to know which name the material bitmap file was or maybe even where they were that could be lost during the course of the project. So a second way to fix this is this. We need to tell Navisworks and Revit not to transfer material bitmaps, because I know sometimes that's not so important. Usually people use Navisworks for things like class detection and model coordination, so materials may not be the top priority. So, to get Revit and Navisworks to ignore material bitmaps, we need to do one particular thing. Usually people make the mistake of going in here, into Navisworks options. Under File Reader, they made the mistake of going to Revit, and then untick this try and find missing materials. It feels perfectly logical, because here is where you try to bring in the NWC, and by unticking this, people hope that then the material bitmaps that are not found will be ignored. But that's just not the case. Even if I accept this now, and maybe break the material link again, changing this to a new name, when I go here, make a new file and append the same NWC, you can see now, doing the change in Navisworks option didn't really help. We ended up here with the same error message. So, what is there to do? This is when we need to go back into Revit. Go to File, Export, and then produce a new NWC. This time, before you click on Save, it's important to go to Navisworks setting just down here. And in here now, you will see the same option, try and find missing materials. But here's where it's going to make a difference. Here I can untick this box, click OK to confirm and then save this file out to NWC. Having done that, even if I go back into Navisworks options and enable this tick box there, when I go and append the new NWC, 
it should succeed. Here we go. We're going to go to viewpoint and turn on full render mode. Of course, the material won't show because the bitmap file isn't found. But it didn't complain that the bitmap file was missing. And sometimes, that's just all you need. It has driven lots of Navisworks users crazy just from seeing that message every single time and dismissing it every single day. So, that's the second way to fix this problem. Anyway, what if you still want to get the material bitmap in here in Navisworks? There's a third way to do it as well. And here's how. Let me again make a new file here. I can now go back to Revit and try to recreate this problem. You can see the material map has gone from here because Revit is also complaining that this bitmap here is no longer there. Let's browse to the new file. I want to have this in Revit first. So we're back to square one, just like we started at the beginning of this video. This time, if I go to File Export, NWC, let's say I forgot to go to Settings and forgot to untick this box. If I keep it selected like this, we can go ahead and export this to a folder called New NWC, overwriting this file there. Next step, I will try to break the connection to the bitmap itself. So just by renaming this 5.png. When I try to bring the new NWC into here, as you may have guessed, it's going to complain. Here we go. So, it's missing this bitmap called 4.png. And as I say, we don't know where that bitmap was saved, but we have the original bitmap file here, only with a different name. In this case, the third fix can be applied. Let me just cancel this. Go back to this folder now. Here's how you can do this. You need to copy this bitmap, the one that you know is right for this missing external reference. Go to the same folder where you have the NWC, this one here, and then place the bitmap at the same location as the NWC file itself. Next, you need to rename this file to the same name that Navisworks tries to use but couldn't find. So in our case, it's going to be 4.png. With that done, I can go up here again and append the file. So, we copy the bitmap to the same folder as the NWC file. We renamed it. Let's click on open. And this time, everything should work, even in full render mode. So, there you have three ways to fix this missing external reference bitmap problem when you bring Revit files into Navisworks. If you enjoyed this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel and then click on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we release videos that are more advanced such as how to build this three column canopy entirely in Revit. I have actually put the link to this tutorial in this video description so if you are interested just follow that link to check it out. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next lesson.